All right, looks like we're live. So today we're going to do a little bit of collage work with some of these painted papers. A whole bunch that I had done in a prior live stream that are all dry and ready to paint with. So here we go. So what I've got here is these are all just like regular eight and a half by 11 um, letter size. And so I just went ahead and grabbed a piece of cardstock and I'm using today matte medium and I'm just going to cut pieces out and use the matte medium as my glue. And I have just a foam brush and we're just, I'm just going to cut pieces out and do a random collage with some of the papers. I'll show you that. All right. So we have all these ones that were kind of, um, we did a couple weeks ago on a live stream, a short live stream I did, that are kind of all neutrals and natural colors. Uh, I'm going to use those to do kind of an abstract landscape. I pulled out all these kind of neutral colored ones. So, and then I have a whole, I mean, a whole stack of them. So we can go through and pick out some more. But here, this first one, I'm going to do kind of a abstract landscape. All right. I hope it's bright enough. Uh, we've got all the windows open. It's just kind of a gray day in the Northwest. It's not very uh, sunny out. Maybe later this afternoon, the sun might come out. So... I've got a couple of pairs of scissors here. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Staying home, staying safe for those that are. So I'm going to cut first this bottom off because there's some that is missing on the bottom here. All right. And so I think I'm going to start from the bottom, move my way up. So I'm gonna kinda, here, I gotta grab a pencil real quick. Just a moment. All right. Grab a couple of pencils. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down on my cardstock it over to kind of the, actually I'm gonna cut that edge off too because see I keep missing these edges I gotta remember to get right to the edge if I possibly can so I'm not wasting any all right so now we're right to the edge here now I'm gonna go ahead and mark All right, so it's just going to be like an abstract landscape. Super hard to see with the, but you'll get the when I start uh, cutting it. And it's just going to be like a, a abstract landscape, kind of the different colors stacked on each other to create kind of hills and But this is just uh, fluid acrylics on, uh, uh, here, maybe if I move that to this side, I get a little more light over here. But this is fluid acrylics. Um, this, what I painted on is photo paper, and I paint on the shiny side of the photo paper. So here is our first little portion of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a different color, maybe for the next portion. And what I'm going to do is, see, because it's upside, uh, upside down to me, 
I am going to get another one to help so I can see what direction. Right there. I'm looking for another piece. <laughs> so, all right. So there we go. Here's our first portion of our heel. And this is just cardstock. So I got another piece of cardstock I'm going to measure from. Oh, hey, H7. How are you? How was your weekend? Lost track of time a little bit. Oh, no worries. We got, we just getting, getting going. Trying to do this upside down here. And these are the um, photo paper I collaged here a while back. So I'm going to lay this here on top and kind of see, put it in camera frame. Now I'm going to cut the next layer of the landscape. All right. So now I'll place that back down. And when I get a couple layers cut out, I will um, then uh, actually glue some down. Exciting weekend, making fast moves. I'm buying a truly peaceful home. Oh, all right. Awesome. And I just freehand just kind of made it like some mountains and valleys. You know, I'm not going straight at all. This is just going to be kind of the landscape. All right, so. And I'll have to, when this is all um, glued together, what I do is I take it in my paper trimmer and I trim the sides up all real, real good. So there's kind of the, um, the first layer or so, let me grab some more. We could go back with this same color. This one I was thinking kind of up in the uh, sky when we get there. And we got this other blue for the sky. Oh, here, this is a great one to do the next. Waterfront on a peninsula with eight forested acres, no neighbors. Oh, that is just awesome. That sounds very peaceful. Yes. Awesome, awesome. All right, so I'm going to turn this over and just kind of measure it up here with this other one. Pretty soon we're going to have to start uh, um, gluing it down, though. All right, grab my pencil, kind of mark. You guys can't see the pencil marks when I do it. It's super light. I can barely see it. Then I'm just going to kind of go All right, and I'm going to cut that one out. Slept like a log last night. Awesome. That's good. Oh, back up towards Maine. That's awesome. Oh, I am not sleeping well. <laughs> that is my good sleep is hard to come by these days. Oh, my sleep is bad, bad. That is so good. So important to get good sleep.
Let's make sure I'm on. Actually, it might be easier. I have these smaller scissors. Um, they're a little more precise and easier to maneuver here. It might be better. Yeah, the too much noise there, definitely. I'm trying to see my lines I even made. How's it going, lighting? Can you bring that light up? I wonder if it, we bring it up, if it would help. Thank you. I think that helps. Yeah, I think that helps a little. Oh, I'm, I have gloves on because I'm getting ready to glue. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's that, like, why do you have gloves on? Because uh, I'm getting ready to glue. Is that good? So like, oh, I guess I'll, be, I'll have to tell Yeah. You. And so I will I'll be trimming the edges here. Okay, so I think we're going to go, let me see if I have other colors that are, I do have this one that has like gold and silver. That would be kind of fun to throw in there. I think I will. I know it is silly to put that, but it's easiest just to put the gloves on right before the stream. And today I'm going to be using this uh, matte medium for my glue. But I do need to get this glued down soon because it's hard to see where everything is without it. Arr. And it's hard to do anything with the dang gloves on either. Ah, and then everything shifts. Okay, now the virus from the paintings. <laughs> no, uh, these uh, these gloves are actually irritating the heck out of me. But um, I put them on at the beginning of this because I thought I would start gluing right away. I do need to start gluing, but going the opposite way, it's hard to glue because I want to tuck each piece under. All right, so I'm going to just cut a small piece off of this one. Wish I had, a, I'm going to have to look through my stack. I wish I had a yellow piece to kind of show um, a sun up in the sky. And this is just quickly done. You can kind of spend more time making the landscape more um, the hills more defined and different stuff. And then you can shade them in too if you really want to, but I'm not going to. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want to do that. Um, I have a Pinterest board all set up with a bunch of different ideas for uh, like, I want to do like, I know you have seen H7 in the background as some of my, uh, when I'm in my like studio little area, there's a painting I did and it's all fairy houses. There's three fairy houses kind of on the hill and it's got um, book pages as the background of it. Well, that one I would like to take and uh, yeah, like shingle the roofs or something like that. I hate how I say that word. Do not say it's correct to me. I say it bad. I know. Okay, so there we go with that. Now, uh, I want to get this green back in here a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I want to do like fairy houses and stuff like that and kind of um, work on shingling like that. Okay, so now I'm going to measure. I want to go closer to the edge here on this so I'm not wasting so much there I 
Urgh. Oh, got much gluing at this point. Yeah, I'm just kind of um, doing kind of abstract landscape here. Uh, I'm going to actually get the sky out and put the sky in real quick. That might be easier. And then start gluing. So here is our sky portion. But yeah, I've got so many of these um, painted papers. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, some like coral reefs, some under uh, this, you know, like the ocean floor scenes, some just villages. Um, I've got a bunch of ideas saved up that I'm going to be doing. So the next couple Tuesdays might be the painted papers, just getting them kind of used up. And collaging them. And kind of another idea I had is kind of like similar to like quilt pieces or um, they've got these collage quilts that I was looking at and kind of getting inspiration from the collage quilts. So here's more the sky. Now I'm going to start moving back down and meeting in the middle and then glue it together. Yeah, maybe I'll do it. Well, I want to do like shingles, uh, mermaid scales. I think like a mermaid tail with mermaid scales. Kind of similar, same idea as the... Um, uh, Yeah, I well, I can do um, yeah, or snakeskin scales. I got um hole punchers, but then I also have that cricket machine where I can cut them out too. Like before, I had done um. Okay, fall. <laughs> oh, that all fell next to. That's all right. It's just the shelf thing and my phone, but it's okay. I'll grab my phone. But I have all these hexagons that I had done. I want to layer them up too, and do something with those. But, uh, yeah, definitely, or mermaid, or a bunch of different ideas. All right, so I am going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to flip that around and put that on there. I think that would work. But, yeah, I've got just stacks and stacks of this photo paper um, that I have painted on. So I that's going to be the next couple Tuesdays, probably getting some of those done. And so I place them on like uh, eight and a half by 11 uh, cardstock, and then I can trim the edges and put them in a uh, like a floating frame. They look real nice in a floating frame. So I'm going to trim this off. Probably right about here. So on Friday, when we do this Friday, when we do a uh, live stream where the chat picks the colors, I'm going to be doing papers. And then implementing them into a Tuesday live stream collaging with them. I hate that word. All right. Did you see what I just did? I just set it in the, almost the edge of the scissors into the glue I have out. But I caught it real quick. <laughs> All right. So let's see how much we have if we can start gluing it down. Or I'll put another layer here. Pretty much. I think I do need just a little bit more, maybe. Okay, we'll glue it down and see what it does. So I've got the matte medium, and I just have a foam brush. And it's photo paper being glued to cardstock. And you could use just good old Elmer's glue. 
but um, I ha I'm allergic to it. So I don't tend to use the Elmer's glue. I don't tend to be allergic to this, um, the Liquitex matte medium. Whatever's in it, I'm not allergic to, so. So, all right. You'd want to just press it down real good, make sure. And you have a moment to kind of fix it if you don't get it. And this is an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. The frame it's going in is an eight by 10. So you do have a little bit of edge that can be trimmed off because it's an eight and a half by 11 going into an eight by 10. So that's good to know, too, that you have this little bit of leeway here on the edges. You do want to get that down. Hey, Muscle Car Appraisal, welcome. How have you been? How have you been? So I've got photo paper that I painted on, and now I'm just collaging it down to kind of make an abstract uh, landscape here. And I'm just using this foam brush to spread out some of this matte medium that I'm using as my glue. You want to be kind of generous with it, but not too like you're soaking the paper. Been pretty good, been just home and just staying safe, staying home. That's about it. So, all right, now we'll put that next layer down. You can kind of see it starting to come together there. Been enjoying the beautiful Washington sun, sun, sunshine. It's kind of weird and rare to have so much sunshine in the Northwest, but it's been nice. A um, little bit grayer day today, but we've had just sun, sun, sun. But yeah. All right. These are photo paper that I had painted on in um, a prior live stream, actually. All right, had to bring that one up just a little bit more. And then I'll take and I'll take a, a smaller paintbrush, a more detailed paintbrush, and kind of tuck in these edges if there's any sort of edges uh, uh, kind of peeking up. All right, so now here's our next layer here. Just want to make sure I, yeah, there we go. So now go ahead and get the, yeah, I've got all kinds of plans with these uh, photo paper. I'm going to be doing a lot of collage. I want to do some more um, abstract landscapes like this. Then uh, I kind of think it would be fun to take a gold pen and kind of draw in or some gold paint possibly and draw in some deciduous trees in here or possibly even do a little bit of um, foiling, gold foiling. All right. Oh, hey, Ms. Pariah, how are you doing? Great to see you. I'm trying to be real creative with the resources I have. I have not gone, or I have not gone. That is some great English there. I have not been to a art store, craft store, any of that uh, art supply store in a long, long time. Uh, Hey, Stacy, artsy fartsy lover, how are you doing? So here I, I'm using matte medium and I'm using my painted papers and I'm just um, 
putting them down here, collaging them here to this uh, cardstock is what I'm actually car uh, putting them at. So how have you been, Ms? I have not chatted with you in a while. Um, I know you were live streaming here a week or two ago, and it was kind of buffering. I wasn't able to chat too much. So um, the... YouTube has just not had the best quality on their streams with everyone on. So, yeah, it's great to see you. But um, H7 and I were discussing uh, some of the other um, ideas with this painted papers. I want to do, like, mermaid scales and fairy houses with shingles and... A bunch of ideas like that, I think, would be super fun. So here's kind of the bottom portion here. And I get a little bit more of this matte medium. Trying to hang in there. That's We're just taking it day by day, trying to hang in there as well. Yep. Um, I haven't left my house since March 8th at all. Uh, Mike has only left the house, and he's gone to, like, um, grocery pickup, you know, where you have you order it online and pick it up. So like, um, yeah, we have not been anywhere. Mike hasn't worked in a month and a half. So it's pretty crazy times, but we're, we're just taking a day at a time, day at a time. So yeah, your streams have been bad too, artsy fartsy. They looked pretty good when I was in there. Um, I popped in yesterday, um, a couple of times you heard doing, um, you're painting. Uh, well, I, was that a premiere or a live? I don't know. I got kind of confused, actually. <laughs> I think it was a live, but it was pre-recorded live, maybe. But, yeah. Um, oh, you drove by Hobby Lobby today? <laughs> I've actually been looking at Hobby Lobby making an order, and I feel horrible saying that. I hate Hobby Lobby. I absolutely hate their practices. I hate Hobby Lobby with a passion. but. I really, really, really need white paint. But um, so I don't know. We don't have Hobby Lobby here, actually. But uh, I would love to get some white paint. And there seem to be the best deal on white paint right now. So I have not made the order. But I, because I hate to give to that company, honestly. <laughs> I really do not like Hobby Lobby. But I'm desperate for white paint. So I don't know. I will probably just wait until I find it on sale somewhere else. But I did look on Hobby Lobby uh, to order it, but I don't know if I'll end up. So here it just needs to be kind of trimmed up the sides and edges to make it an even 8 by 10. But here's kind of a sample of the collage work just kind of together, uh, abstract landscape. But I thought it would be fun to take a... Um, like a gold fine liner sharpie and um, put little deciduous trees, just a few. Hey, Lost Dog, how are you doing? Oh, okay, you were working on learning the OBS. The, yeah, um, I OBS is not my friend. It is not my friend. So, yes, I, I have tried to work on OBS as well. All right, so there's the one. You've been out a few times this month, uh, once for food supplies and twice giving away distribution. Oh, that's so awesome that you're uh, out there still distributing and doing the um, food bank and stuff like that. Uh, so important right now. I know our food banks, um, well, the uh, National Guard came in and helped out our food banks. So, yeah. So, all right, so I'm going to set this one aside. And what looks best is if you um, put these in a floating frame. They look pretty awesome. So, uh, how long? Have, okay, half an hour. So, one more, guys. One more. Um, I think I'm going to do like a more um, of a background of uh, undersea. So, I might have to paint the edges a little bit more on this blue. But we're going to make it work. Doing good. Had blood tests today for your um, upcoming surgery or? 
Yeah, they hate women and gays, their entire customer base. Exactly. <laughs> no, I do not like them as a company at all. We don't have one here. So if I was going to get it, I would have to order. But um, yeah, I just don't like the Hobby Lobby at all for the upcoming surgery. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck with that. Very good. Good luck with that. Uh not good times to have a surgery, but I know you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and measure this up and cut it. Uh, I'm going to try to, I'm just going to put a line, but I'm going to try to cut it kind of uh, like a C would be. So I've also been practicing, I want to do a bunch of these and then paint kind of 3D bubbles on them. Oh, H7 has ta taken things back. I can't even see. <laughs> restricting messages. Retracting, restricting, I can't. <laughs> Whatever, same thing. A bright, sunshiny day there. Ah. Oh, gosh, Mike. <laughs> Mike's got quite the mullet. We were laughing about that earlier. Uh, so here I have these two pieces and yes, they were smushed together and done with the same exact, but I think it would be kind of cool looking to kind of break it up and put now the same exact colors. Yeah, Mike's here. <laughs> it has been bright, super sunshiny here in the Northwest, like abnormally sunny weather for a, uh, for the springtime and stuff, but um, it actually is a gray day today. We're actually getting a little bit more of our normal Northwest weather. It's been weird, like no rain. Beard will probably get shaved Thursday. So when is your surgery, Lost Dog? When is your surgery? May 14th. Oh, okay. Which one looks like a gem? This one? I think there's maybe this one or there's parts in these ones that kind of do. All right. Well, um, May 14th is a little uh, ways out, so that's good, though. Everything can hopefully, you know, get a little bit more stable in the world by then. And looks like a jellyfish. Oh, I've got a jellyfish video coming. Uh, I've been working on uh, a jellyfish video. And I'm updating a bunch of the ones I've done in the last few years. Uh, jellyfish and uh, seahorse and a bunch of those. Oh, you like that darker blue one? Thank you. This is just the photo paper. On Friday, I'm going to be doing more of these. So on Friday, the chat gets to pick the colors. So on Friday, be here for the live stream, and I'm going to do a lot more of these papers and uh, then collage them in the next couple of weeks. But it's just putting the photo paper on the shiny side, the paint down, then squishing them together and pulling them apart. And I've been having a lot of fun just collaging them together. And so this one is going to be like, an under C. So we're kind of alternating the blues. And I will have to just put a little bit of blue on these edges. Hey, Mr. Doughboy, how are you doing? Welcome. How are you doing? So now I'm going to go ahead and tuck this 
kind of under there and then kind of somewhere in there start cutting so yeah we're just kind of hanging out at home uh doing the homeschool thing and all that sort of stuff nothing really changed here You're digging to see if you have photo paper now. Um, I know you can't go anywhere right now, but a lot of the photo paper I got was um, actually from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they have um, a Polaroid brand, and you only get, I think, eight or ten pieces, but it's for a buck. And so when I'm in there getting, you know, cleaning supplies or something, I'll grab one or two just to have them on hand. But... I have done so good. I have done, um, I did no spend in January and February, and then the chaos happened. So I've I added it up. I have literally spent like $32 since mid-December on painting supplies. So I think I've done really well at just making what I have work. So we have painted over the top of so many paintings and just making what I have work. So, ah, uh, no, I haven't done any of the spun uh, paint pours. Uh, I, what I want to do is get a box fan and take apart a box fan and use it to kind of, oh, I tilted that all over to use the box fan to uh, make into like a spinning um, thing. I have not um, done that yet. I did get some lazy Susan spinning things from um, the Dollar Tree, but they just were not sturdy enough. They would not, they kind of wobble as they spin, so they wouldn't work. So I have to get either a better quality lazy Susan. Or um, uh, an old box fan that I'm going to take apart and use the ends, the motor of the box fan. So, yeah, sure it is. I see it right there in chat. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, oh, you found some photo paper. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Ah. Uh. It's a fun, great way to uh, mess around with different color combinations. I have done so much fun stuff with the photo paper. Okay, so this one is the ocean. Uh, so I'm going to get it all glued down here, but that's kind of the abstract ocean. And then I'm going to show you here. I think I have a couple left. Let me see. I know I've used most of them, but all right. I do have one left. I have like a mermaid and some coral and fun things like that, that then I can put on the, there's like a little well, the well might have to go. We might have to place like the lighter pieces up here, kind of the well on there. But yeah, so that's what I have. And then I also want to eventually cut out some more just freehand. These shapes are cut out with the Cricut. Some like coral pieces, but I may have to lighten them. So uh, make them a little bit um, so they can show up kind of maybe brighten the background, give it a little bit of a more of a shadow on there. Oh, yeah, the, the prints with the Gossam Woven. I have often thought about that. I have certain ones, like um, some of these would look really fun. Uh, but uh, I don't have a really good, you have to have a really good scanner to scan them in. And then there's companies you can make, like, make them, in to look, make them into things, uh, leggings and T-shirts and stuff. Uh, so I'm saving up and hopefully I'll get a scanner and then I want to scan them in and make them into all kinds of stuff to be print onto like textiles and stuff and to just make prints too 
So let me get this. I've, I kind of got excited and pulled it all towards me a little, <laughs> but yeah, I've got a few different, um, shapes and different stuff. Uh, but I've got to first get that first layer glued down and then we'll play around with what more to put on there. Uh, this is actually from, uh, Cricut. Uh, I've cut it out with my Cricut. Um, I think I have the Explore Air 2 or something like that, but it's on photo paper and then put through the Cricut machine. $50? What are you putting out amounts? What do you mean? $50? <laughs> Thank you. Looking good. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do the next few uh, Friday or the next few Tuesdays are going to be some collage work, a whole bunch of different. I think I would need a um, uh, little bit more of the scanners I've looked at that I think are the better quality and what I've researched are, are in the like 120, 140 range. Uh but I don't know what what one would you suggest in the fifty dollar range? Um, that's a little bit easier for me to save up. Uh, not right now, of course, but eventually. Uh, do you have a suggestion for one in the fifty dollar range? I haven't done too much research. I'm kind of at the beginnings of my research for the scanner. No, I'm I'm not under. I think I need to go this way. And I will um, trim off the top. There'll be a little bit of this white that gets trimmed off. Because I think this would go best uh, in a floating frame that usually comes about an 8 by 10. So I have a scanner, and it was probably about a $50 scanner, but it is just not a good enough quality. It won't pick up the um, – all the details and stuff. And it doesn't get the coloring right. For some reason, it gets all the, it, it makes everything really just like bright and um, over, um, I don't know, the, just like, I don't know what the exact word, but it makes it just way um, not a good quality, but. There's an app for photos for scanning now. It's called Google Photo Scan. Google, I can't even talk. <laughs> uh, huh, I'll have to check into that. Uh, or else the other thing is, is I um I looked at maybe getting a um I usually use um uh, GIMP, I think it's called for like photo editing. And it's just a free uh, software. I might need to get a photo editing software. I'm not sure. So, but yeah, this is just kind of an abstract ocean, guys. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different companies where you can have it printed, have your um, different art or different things, uh, print photos or artwork. Uh, printed onto textiles. You can have it printed onto like just material and you can have it printed onto uh, leggings and shirts and just all kinds of stuff. But uh, I might eventually release some limited stuff like that. But uh, I just think right now I don't want to. Um, nobody can buy anything right now. And I just, we don't need to be producing a lot more stuff and, you know, things like that. I know, isn't it fun how it kind of matches up and I'm not really putting a ton of effort into like making sure it matches up either. You, you use Photoshop 7. All right. Does as good as your crappy scanner? Okay. Well, maybe it'll do better than my crappy scanner because, I mean, anything probably would do better than it. I'm, I've never really used Photoshop uh, much, but I, I'm wondering if that's which direction I need to go is Photoshop just to kind of brighten and color balance things and things like that. 
then it would be fun to just put like, um, I think it would be super fun to do prints where I put quotes and stuff and you're doing in a, um, and kind of mirror images and stuff like that is, would be fun to mess with in Photoshop. But I've never really messed with, I've never had Photoshop. All right. So there's kind of our abstract. Now let's see if we place her. See, it's upside down to me. So it's interesting. I could kind of see. I'm thinking Mr. Well is probably up here, kind of in the foreground. He would be kind of more. Your Photoshop Pro. Awesome. Uh, I've seen a lot of like free tutorials on it and stuff. I just don't have the program, but eventually maybe. I think I'm going to wait to put anything because I got to, I have to kind of brighten it up down there or something to be able to see it. Oh, I have a small little fishy. Where could I put him? I could put him. I want to balance it out a little. But yeah, I've got all kinds of little cutouts I've got. I'm not going to send stuff over. Ooh, the whole pile went flying away right from me. <laughs> it all went flying away. Um, But yeah, I've got out a lot of stuff on my Cricut. This thing cracked when I went to pick mm -hmm. it up. So that's what... <laughs> I have them on like, cause these are from when I had my daycare and they're like food trays, like you would serve kids food on. But it, when I went to pick it up, it cracked and it all went shoom away from me. <laughs> oh, we got colorful Nemo. Nemo's there all colorful. <laughs> but yeah, I was trying to grab my little more of these things, but. So what I do have is. He needs to be trimmed up a little bit. I was kind of experimenting with the settings on my um, Cricut, but I have a beautiful uh, octopus here. Then I do have, I was wondering if I had some contrasting colors. So I do have some coral that are more kind of contrasting colors. Those would put, and there's the scissors I've been searching for for a while. <laughs> But yeah, and then I also have cut out a few um, of these plastic to see if I could make a stencil out of it. We got colorful Nemo's here, but kind of layering up, layering them up really looks good too. And then I've got several different kind of shapes and these ones are off the Cricut and they're super fun and delicate. You like the Kraken? <laughs> Release the Kraken. Uh, this one I was, so what I do is I put it on my Cricut machine has different like settings for the thickness of it is. And um, for the photo paper that has been painted on, I put it just past a little bit thicker than cardstock. So I think I did this one right at cardstock level. And so it did leave just a little bit of spots I'll have to take out and um, they call it weeding it, but just kind of cut those little pieces out. So you want to go just past cardstock because cardstock doesn't quite get it. But just past gets it really, really well. But um, we also have the sea turtle too. But he's really big sea turtle compared to the uh, mermaid. So I don't know if he would really look too well on there. And I have another... Uh, 
I'll show you another one I have of a um, another Kraken. <laughs> And then I have this one too. So you could do these backgrounds and then cut things out and put them on. But we're almost getting too much. But it'd be fun. And this one is cut out. You might even recognize this shape. This turtle is from one of the Dollar Tree ones. And then I just traced around the Dollar Tree one and cut it out just with the scissors. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, you can use all your stencils. You can just cut them freehand like I've been doing. You don't have to have a Cricut. Yeah, I know. Crickets are so expensive. And I wouldn't even have a Cricut, but it was gifted to me amazingly. So uh, I, I totally get I don't have. I wouldn't have a Cricut if it wasn't given to me. I would have never been able to afford it. So, yeah, you can make what you have work, though. You can totally make what you have work. Hey, Queen of Hearts LA, how are you doing? But yeah, you can do, here's the one we did earlier, just like a simple, simple uh, landscape, kind of a um, abstract landscape. <laughs> Lost dog. Yes, I actually have... Um, Probably over 100, 150 turtle figurines. I collect turtles. So I have, I, yep, I've got lots of turtles. <laughs> yes, I am super, I'm thankful for my cricket machine. Yes, it's super expensive toy. But um, thankfully it was given to me. But yeah, so that was kind of what I was thinking here. I'm going to glue these uh, down off, off camera here. Uh, I do need to get off of here uh, pretty soon. Yeah, I've got turtles I've painted. I've got turtles, probably dusty turtles. Here's one turtle I um, painted here. And he lights up. You can't really see, but he lights up. But I've got all kinds of turtles. I've got all the way down to what's the smallest one? I've got super, super, let me, I'm gonna have to take off my gloves to show you. I've got super, super tiny, tiny, tiny turtles to really, really big turtles. I got all kinds of size turtles. <laughs> I used to have a real turtle too. But I think he's the smallest. Is this the smallest turtle I have? That's I great. think so. Yeah. But he would love to visit his friends here on here. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have lots and lots of turtles. Yeah. Too many turtles. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I know you have wild turtles, turtles there. I got my turtle was wild, actually. Uh, we have red ear sliders. That's the only turtles we really have um, was red ear sliders. I used to have one, but yeah, I collect all kinds of little turtles. But uh, I have I have little tiny turtles, and I have big, huge like figure like lamps and stuff like that. Somebody stole our concrete turtle. I had a concrete turtle in the um, flower bed, and somebody took it. So now I don't have a concrete turtle, and I think they tried. So we had two turtles. They took the one turtle and they, I think they tried to take the other turtle, but I think they picked it up by the head and they broke the head off the one turtle and they took the other the second one. So, so irritating. Can't have nice things outside, obviously. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, that's funny you say that last dog. I am a turtle club. I have all kinds of little turtles. <laughs> that's why I've also done all these ones trying to figure it out uh doing turtle art but yeah so guys i am gonna get off of here but on friday i'll be doing some more of these uh papers where i'll actually be painting the papers and i'll show you how this one turned out and i'll finish it up and show you and you guys can pick the colors on friday uh and then on next tuesday we'll be doing some more collage work next tuesday will be more collage 
So I do have to get off of here, get back to homeschooling, check in and see how they're doing on their schoolwork and all that good stuff. Homeschooling high school is not easy. It is not easy. Uh, I homeschooled uh, like elementary school and early um, early middle school, but this high school stuff is so different. <laughs> so I got to get back to that. But <clears throat> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. <coughs> Just a second. <coughs> I totally lost my like my voice went away. <laughs> Okay, I got a drink of water. Now I can actually talk. Sorry, guys. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and kind of uh, showing you a little bit of examples of what I do with the, the papers after they're all painted up. And I'll show you some more examples on Friday and next Tuesday. And thank you so much for hanging out and a rock of a man. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. See you around the interwebs. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. And yes, exactly what, uh, good luck and stay safe. Be, stay home, stay safe. Much love to you guys. Much love to you all. And uh, be the change you want to see in the world, guys. All right. Have a good one. <laughs>